Welcome to Editing Part 2. We're going to look at how to edit a project using both the track view and the scene. Standard editing operations like cut, copy and paste are available within the track view. For example, you can copy a movie in Finder and paste it into Studio using a standard copy-paste mechanic. The media, if usable, will be copied into the studio project at the current playhead position. Multiple selection is also very easy. You can either add to an existing selection by holding the shift as you continue to click objects. Here you can see additional objects are being lit up. And this works whether you are clicking in the timeline or clicking objects within the scene. You can use Edit, Select None, or Command D, to deselect all objects. Another way to select multiple objects is to draw a lasso around them. Start by clicking on an empty space in the timeline. Now drag the cursor. Anything touched by the resulting lasso is selected. This can be done in the scene as well. Just click where there isn't an object, that is the background, and drag the lasso out. Let's look at deleting and trimming. One of the most used actions is to delete sections of video. There are a few variants of this, including delete, trim, and region cut. A trim action operates on the front or back of your project. Start by ensuring that you are zoomed all the way out, you can perform a trim by dragging the left or right grey edges and then releasing them. When performing a left trim, Studio will shuffle the remaining objects to the left to take up the slack. Right trim is great for removing the last little parts from recording where you were stopping what you were doing, tidying up, uh, for example. To delete objects entirely, just select them and then choose Edit, Cut, or press the Delete key. All of these operations can be undone at any time using Edit, Undo, or by pressing Command-Z. Region Cut is similar to Trim, but it works in the middle of your project. It is used to remove entire sections. Think vertically within the timeline. Region Cut always removes entire vertical slices. Go to the Edit menu and choose Region Cut. Studio then highlights the area in the timeline where you can perform this cut. Just drag out a section, kind of like when you were doing multiple selection above. You have the opportunity to move both Region Cut sides before performing the operation. When you're happy, press the Cut button in the Context User Interface. The context user interface sits just above the timeline. Notice that the result is very much like a left trim, and all objects are shuffled left to take up the slack. Check out our other videos for more detail and other topics. Remember, help is available in the shape of a full manual. The iBooks version includes short videos. To download, just go to the Help menu of iShow Studio and choose Download iShow Studio Manual. The iBox version is recommended. Thanks for watching.